you may see this kind of card carousel in a lot of website but do you know how we can make that in your website by using elementor so today i'll show you the easiest way to make this card carousel with this two column structure where some of its portion goes outside of the screen and you can fully navigate through it just by dragging on the left and right or also by clicking on these two arrows so without any further ado let's see how can we make that so here we will start everything from scratch but if you don't want to watch this full tutorial and only want to get this card carousel you can also get this from my gumroad shop only for 2.99 dollar and here after downloading this template you will get a json file like this so you just need to go to your page and go to this template upload option and from here let's just drag this file to here and you will get this one elementor card carousel let's just insert this and you will get this full template if we see it from tablet mobile or any other devices you can see it's also perfectly working from all of them but if you also don't want this ready-made template you can also start it from scratch so let's delete this section and here i want to create a new section with this two column structure and inside our left column i want to add some content like this heading this paragraph and also let's add a button on this right column we want to add our this carousel so i want to search for this carousel widget and let's select this one testimonial carousel so here i use the testimonial carousel widget because specifically for this widget we have the option for adding our title the description and also the image at the same time so i just want to go to our this first item and i don't want this upper text so let's clear all of this i just need to upload an image and also change this text okay so here i have used this one as a portfolio carousel so here i use the name of this project and also mention the category under here so let's add another one clear this and upload an another image also change this text and like this one let's also quickly change the other items of this slider so after adding all of this i want to go to this additional option and here at the bottom i don't want to show this pagination so let's make it to none and also let's disable this autoplay option here if we go to our this final result we can see our carousel basically looks like this so we will convert our this carousel to that look but before that on this left side i want to change the style of this heading so let's make its color to black and from this typography i want to increase the font size to 70 pixel make it to more bold and i forget to change this text so make it to see our works and then also change this paragraph let's also change it the same black color so make it to this and lastly for this button let's change this text and after this text i also want to add an arrow but i will not add those arrows from this icon option because i don't like this default bold icon instead i want to add an html entity so let's here search for html entity and go to this website toptal.com if we go to this arrows option and scroll down to here from here i want to select this one and let's just paste it after here and then let's go to the style settings and first of all i want to make it a transparent background and make the text color to the black make the padding to fully zero and also change some typography so let's make the font size to 18 pixel and make the weight to 700 okay and here on this left side you may also see some spacing so this is basically comes from this icon spacing so i want to make it to zero okay so after that under this button i also want to add a left and right button so here if we just go to this section settings and make its background color to this black color we can see here already a left and right arrows for this carousel but i don't like to see these default arrows this looks not so good so i want to go back to our this left column and here just simply this button widget 
under here and for this one i also want to add an arrow symbol so let's again go to this website and let's choose this one and paste it to here also remove this left spacing make it to zero from the style settings let's also make it background again the transparent also make this color to black and let's also make it size bigger so from the typography let's make the size to this i want to add some border around that so from this border option make it to solid make the border width to pixel then i think we need to adjust its padding so make it to 12 pixel and adjust it on the top and bottom okay now that looks good but on hover i also want to reverse that color so here i want to make this arrow color on white and make this background color to black okay i also need to add some border color here so make it also black now that looks perfect so here after this button on this right side i also want to add another one so for this first of all i want to make its width to the inline and let's just duplicate this for this one let's again go to here and i want to select this symbol paste it to here okay now that looks also okay but we need some spacing between that so for this first button let's add some right margin 10 pixel perfect so lastly let's also adjust the spacing between them so for this button let's give some top margin negative top margin and at the bottom make it to 15 pixel and for this left column i want to reduce its width like 30 percent or 32 so after that let's go to this carousel settings okay but uh, before that for this section i want to make it to full height so make it to fit the screen and now go to here here first of all i want to show three slides side by side so make the slides per view to three and also increase its width to 1200 pixel then here if we go to this slider option and if we set a background color for our slides here we can see these are basically our each of the slides so what i want to do i want to set these little images as a background for each of our these sections so for this let's again go to this custom css and here we need to write some code and if you don't know this custom css option is only available in elementor pro so if you don't have elementor pro you can quickly get this from my link on the description so let's just paste this code and you can see our discard view and if you look closely you can also notice we have also added a slight gradient overlay near this text because here if you use a white text and also use a bright background at the same time in that case you cannot read your text properly so that's why here we use this gradient okay so here you also don't need to worry about this code snippet i will give all of the code snippet to my website and also give that code snippet link to my description so from here you just need to copy and paste that code so here if you look at the top of this code from here you can also change some values of this slider like from here you can change the border radius of these slides i have given it to 25 pixel you can also change the height of this or here is also the option for the overlay opacity so instead of 0.75 if i make it to 1 you can see it looks more dark okay so now i want to again go back to this style settings and i want to increase the spacing between them so make it to 30 pixel and here on this left side you see some gap so this gap is basically comes from this option i want to make it to zero and i want to give some padding from this padding option make it to 30 pixel and lastly let's also style this text so from this content i want to first make this title color to this white color and also make this category name this yellow color go to its typography let's also increase its font size to 30 pixel and i also want to add some line height in case it goes into lines okay and for this bottom text let's also make it to 16 pixel and make it more bold perfect so now everything looks okay i just need to make some spacing from our this left column so go to this right column option and make some left margin 
So the last thing I want to do is when I click on this left and right arrows, I want to slide these carousels. So for this, first of all, we need to add some classes. So go to this section settings and here make this class to car dash carousel. For this one, make it to car dash brief and for this last button, car dash next. Then we also need to add some JavaScript code. So for this, let's search for an HTML tag and drag this to here. And inside this, we need to paste this code. You also don't need to worry about this. I will also give that on my website. So now let's save this. And if we go to our preview, here if you now click on this, we can see it's perfectly working. Let's go back again to here. And now I want to check this from our tablet and the mobile devices. So on tablet, um, here we need to adjust our these elements. So first of all, for this column, I want to make it switch to 38% for this column, make it the remaining 62%. So here this heading looks so big, I want to reduce it to 55 pixel. And this paragraph also looks so small, so make it small size to 15 pixel. Now that looks perfect. So here for this right side, first of all, I want to reduce the spacing. So go to this column settings and make the left margin to 10 pixel. And here, if you look carefully, you can see this carousel is not properly vertically aligned. So I want to add some top margin to align to the center. Now that looks perfect. So lastly, I want to go to this carousel settings and here make its width to 620 pixel and also make these slides per view too okay so here if we go to our this custom css we can see from our this tablet device i have set this slider height to 370 pixel so if you also want to change this you can also do it from here okay i just want to increase the gap between them so again go to here make it to 20 pixel and finally from this left side we also need some spacing so go to this section settings and here make the padding to 10 pixel and here i also want to add some top and bottom padding for this section okay now that looks good so lastly let's also check it from our mobile device and here it almost looks good but we just need to fix some of these items so here if we go to this column settings here let's make all of the margin to zero and here for this button if we place this under our this carousel only for mobile devices that will make more sense but here there is no way to place these buttons under here only for these mobile devices so what we can do here i just want to duplicate these buttons once again and if we place it under here and again do it for this one okay so now what we'll do i will appear these two buttons only for mobile and these two buttons make it visible only for our desktop and tablet so let's go to its responsive option let's hide it on mobile and also do the same for this one and for these two buttons, i will do the opposite thing so let's go to this button option and hide this from our desktop and tablet and do the same for this one now if you see it from our preview we can see it's perfectly working from all of our devices so that's how you can create this card carousel in your elementor website if you enjoyed this tutorial then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next video